Learning House, your online education partner, presents a tutorial that will help you learn how to edit your profile and understand the different settings. In the navigation block in the stack of blocks to your right is the My Profile link. Click the My Profile link to view a drop-down list of links. Click on the View Profile link to view your profile in the content area. Locate the Settings block on the right-hand side. In the Settings block, the Edit Profile link is listed under My Profile Settings. Click the Edit Profile link to view the entire list of fields that the application allows you to add to your profile. Some of these field names appear in red with an asterisk at the end. This indicates that the fields are required. There are many options to choose from to customize how your profile appears and behaves. Some of these are the following. Email Display. In this option, you can determine whether your email address can appear in the profile when viewed by others, and if so, who among the users can view it, anyone or only those who are enrolled in your course. Email Digest Type. The options under this allow you to choose whether you would like to receive multiple emails or one email reporting forum postings. By default, Moodle sends an email message for every forum post. This may mean a large number of emails in a day. You may want to change the settings so that Moodle sends you only one email a day that includes all of the new forum posts for that day for each of your courses. Such a digest may be customized to include just the subject lines. Forum Auto Subscribe In this option, you can determine whether or not you get automatically subscribed to a forum to which you contribute a post. Forum Tracking in this option, you can determine whether you would like the posts you have read to be tracked, allowing new posts to be highlighted. Time Zone This option helps you set your time zone so that all your communication and application use may be dated accordingly. The field that asks for a brief description of who you are is not mandatory. However, we recommend that you insert a brief description of the type of person you are, putting a personality to the name. This will help you in community building allowing other users to get to know you. Under User Picture, you have the option to upload a picture of yours. This is not mandatory, and neither is the picture description below it. However, we recommend that you not only upload a snapshot of yours, but also give a brief description of the picture. The picture will put a face to the name and make you much more relatable. In the Interests field, you can further define who you are by listing your various interests separated by commas. These interests then appear as links on your profile page. Clicking the links takes you to a page where names of others who have listed the same interests appear. The optional fields at the end of the profile allow you to list your various email addresses, telephone numbers, and other details that will help others get in touch with you. Please note that this information will appear to anyone who accesses your profile, so only list information you do not mind others seeing. And that concludes this lesson. To close this presentation, click the exit button at the top of the screen.